Hey guys, so let me fix this a little bit. I think that's a little better. I'm holding this little thing with my foot. Okay, so this is going to be a very, very long video. This is basically my haul of November. This does not include my book outlet purchase that I just did this past weekend during this whole Black Friday thing. Um, but some of those books I did purchase on Amazon through that same weekend, um, along with other books that I got earlier in November. And I got a lot because I finally just got back into this whole reading um, this reading vibe that I've been getting um, thanks to booktube and so let's get started so the first book I bought or one of the books I bought is After Alice by Gregory Maguire and yeah I have I don't know what to say about it because I don't know what it's about um, but yeah this is apparently very good and I love the cover like the jacket is nice but without the jacket like and I got it on sale at Target because um, the sticker price is $26.99 then it's also 20% off already in Target and then there's a cartwheel deal I think it was anywhere from 20 to 30% off I think so I got it and it, I'm glad I did and I also got two other books from Rainbow Rowell and the first book is Eleanor and Clark, a novel and I also got, let me see this is, and I thought the book itself was also beautiful because it was an engraving of Eleanor and Clark and then the inside of the book like like, how gorgeous is that? When I saw that, I was like, I need it. I prefer paperback to hard covers. But, I gotta say, I actually, I actually like it. This is nice. And also, I got Rainbow Rowell's Carry On. And again, the cover is just so beautiful. Like, I really don't like hardcovers, and I don't normally get it unless, like, unless, you know, it's as beautiful as this, um, but I got that, and I also got Illuminae, Illuminae Files 1, and again, it's so, it's so beautiful, like, I mean, I wish the jacket was a little, like, sturdier and not so loud, but, again, I, what can you do? It's beautiful. I also got Not Your Ordinary Wolf Girl by Emily Polwary. And I'm sorry if I butcher these um, authors' names, but yeah. And I think this is about a girl, an 18-year-old rock star Sam Lee who isn't like any other girls and then one night I think walking home or something she finds herself bitten by a wild dog so that's what it is and also got Drown by Esther Del Seno. so I think I don't know if this is a retelling I don't know yeah, I think this is a retelling. This is a retelling. So I got this. Um, and I also got two more of the Ransom Riggs book. I got Hollow City. And I got Libraries of Soul. And this didn't have paperback. I couldn't find paperback on this. Whether it's from Amazon or from Target. But again... When I saw this, when I saw that at Target, I was like, okay, I'll just, I'll just buy it through Amazon because it's cheaper, but I'll just get the whole hardcover and I won't have to, I won't wait for the paperback to come out. Cannot wait to read that. Um, sorry if this is shaking, it's just so many books here. I also got Black Widow Forever Red, written by Margaret Stoll, and that 
is a beautiful cover. And it's a cover like oh, pretty much the same. Just red, red and black. I got another retelling, uh, A Thousand Nights by E.K. Johnston. And I wanted to read the original um, story. Oh, look at how beautiful color. That color is beautiful. I wanted to read the original A Thousand Nights, but I couldn't find, I guess there's different um, translations, and I couldn't find what translation would, would suit me or that, I don't know. If you guys know where I can find the original story of A Thousand Nights, let me know. I would be very interested. I also got The Princess Bride by William Goldman. And this is, I think this is the illustrated version. Because this is illustrated by Michael Mano, Manum, Middleble. But, I mean, let me see if I can find a really good one. Like, it's illustrated, and it's, it's a very beautiful book. I can't, I can't wait to read this to my kids. So, I got that. I also got in my Owl Crate for the month of November, Soundless. So I got this as well. Very, very happy. I also got Winter, and I am... In chapter 19. I started reading it yesterday, December 1st. So, two days of reading it. So far, 19 chapters. I think I'm doing good. Um, another book I purchased from... I think I got this from... Um, did I get this from Outlook? I think I might have gotten this from Outlook. But this one's called The Promise of Stardust by Priscilla... By Priscilla Sibley. So... Um, I saw another booktuber reading this, and I think they reviewed it, or it was in one of their wrap-ups, and I heard she liked it. I don't remember, but the story sounds very promising, so we'll see. I also got something to go along with my Mortal Instruments series, and that is the Infernal Devices. And again, can't wait to start these. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to read these first or the Mortal Instruments or if I'm supposed to read the Infernal Devices after a few chapters or a few chapters, a few books into the Mortal Instruments. I'm not sure that what's the correct way of reading it. But if anyone knows, um, please share with me. Now, my more recent hauls. Um, I was, I decided that I would like to read more retellings, you know, besides The Thousand Nights and, and that Drown book. I decided to get some Peter Pan retellings. I got three retellings. Um, the first book is Windy Darling, written by Colleen Oakes, I believe is her name. And this is the first volume of this series, and it's about Windy and her adventure in Neverland. And so we shall see if I like this. And if I do, I will probably purchase a volume two. Um, the next book I also purchased is The Pan Experiencing Neverland, written by Matthew Eldridge. And this is about Peter Pan himself and how, um, how he was entrusted with a secret in learning how to be young forever. And so... He so I guess here it says he only needs to discover the clues to finding and unlocking the fountain of youth while battling the dreaded Captain Hook for the same prize. So I guess Captain Hook was also looking for the same fountain of youth. And so here they are, battling it out. But this book, actually, I'm more interested in than the last two. And it's called Never Never by Brianna Arshram. And it's basically the story of Captain James Hook. And this caught my attention where it says, James Hook is a child who only wants to grow up. And that's funny because Peter Pan was a child who didn't want to grow up. But yet here's James Hook who is a child who does want to grow up. And here it says, 
It's about the feared Captain James Hook and his passionate quest to kill the pan, an impossible feat in a magical land where everyone loves Peter Pan, except one. So, very, very interested. I cannot wait to read this. I'm sure I might want to read this um, sometime next month, or maybe even this month, depending on how, um, how free I am. When, uh, depending on how how I go with my my TBR for the month of December because I also want to read November 9 by Colleen Hoover. I've never read any of Colleen Hoover's stuff before and I was thinking what book should I read of Colleen Hoover's to dabble in, you know, before I buy all those Colleen Hoover books and then realize I don't really like her style of writing or whatever it is. Um, and I found out she just came out with a new book on November 10 called November 9. And if I like this, I might start buying some Colleen Hoover books. I might. Mm -hmm. We'll see. I heard many good things. I also got Lola and the Boy Next Door, written by Stephanie Perkins. I don't think, I don't know if, if Anna and the French Kiss and Island Happily Ever After, if they're a series or if they're just standalones. Um, I thought I got Anna and the French Kiss, but I got Lola and the Boy Next Door. So I think, hopefully these are standalones and not an actual series. Because um, if that's the case, then I have to get... I might not have to read... I, maybe I can't read this first. I don't know. I have to look into this and see. And then another book I got is called Fer Ferris by Marissa Myers. And I decided to get this book after... <laughs> Um, after I got my winter, and I realized, like, oh, you know, I shouldn't read this too. I should read the Bonna story as well. Because, you know, how is she such an evil thing? Um, so I got this through Amazon. And can I just show you this? I don't know if that will focus. Is that focusing? See that little goop there? You would think... If you're purchasing books online, that people who grab those books and pack them up in those boxes would at least have a consideration on the condition of the books. Like, like my last Amazon um, purchases, there was like Mommy? marks. Mommy, I see you, Mom. I see you now. Oh, okay. Go, go on the couch. I'll be right there. Okay, in five minutes. So I bought this, my baby, sweepy now. You like this one? Yes. You want to read this one? Does yeah. It, it doesn't look scary? No. No? Okay, we'll read this. I like to read, um, I like to read these. I want, I want to watch you, Mom. You want to watch me? My son is like, I loves to, to watch vlogs. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Yeah, the, the last book. Oh, I, watch out. I added it to you. You read that to me? Uh-huh. I, I, I did this. I did this last to you. Oh, okay. Yeah, you read that to me, okay? Uh -huh. The last book I purchased uh -huh. on Amazon uh -huh. is, uh -huh. is uh -huh. Outlander from Mommy, Diana Gobble. Mommy, Gobble. Yeah, you, Mommy. Gobble, 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 that's Daddy. not that's not me, Henry. I don't have red hair. He's pointing at the at cat on the fan girl cover. But anyways, so this is written by Diana Gabaldon, um, called Outlander. And I, the reason why I bought this Daddy. was because Sasha from A Booktopia yeah, was like really raving about how this is her favorite mommy, book of all time. Mommy, mom, and so I purchased mommy, it myself, hoping mommy, that mommy, mom, I'll like mommy, it. It's mommy, a good book. mommy, mommy, mommy. Look how floppy this is, Henry. Floppy, don't you love floppy books? Mm -hmm. I like floppy books. My name, so, my name. Henry, which book do you want? You want to read this book? No. No? I want this book. What which one? one? Which this one? one? This one. This one. Oh, you want to read? You want to read this one? Okay, we'll read this one. Another. Can you give me that candle right there? Okay. Yes. So, also, what I find that. That's I find is bookish is candles. I love candles. I purchased. I, I, I like candles. You like candles too? 
This is Cabin Retreat from Target. It smells like cuddling up with your husband or your kids uh -huh. next to a fireplace. Like, yeah, is that mine? It's ours. Ours? Oh, really? Yeah, we share it. Yay! So, yeah, 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 yeah! <laughs> So, I love candles. Candles are the best thing. Hey, why are you doing this? <laughs> and also, I got two other ones, black tie. Do you love tie? Yeah, this is black tie. Say. What does it smell like? Pussy one? Pussy? Pussy? Puff hatty. It smells like daddy? Daddy bat. It smells like daddy's bath? Uh huh. Best. And then I got marshmallow fireside. Oh, from oh, back from oh, so, body work. So, 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 Does it smell so, yummy? Mommy. I love candles when reading because it kind of gets you in the mood. Oh, mommy. Like black tie smells like a hot man. So you know when you're reading oh, those oh, nice steamy um, scenes, yeah. like this will get you in the mood. Like it's like being able to read a book near a fireplace without having to actually have a fireplace. So anyways, anyways, that is all for today. My very large and long November haul. Ah! Hopefully I will not be buying any more books. Maybe <laughs> one or two releases that are coming out this month I might purchase. But besides that, that will be all. Yeah. Say bye. 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 <laughs>